go with all this random crap of, you know, other people making up laws, which has nothing to do with what we want. But the king says, you gotta follow these laws now. Because I'm the king. Remember that part I mentioned about the standing army just sort of standing there and it's all sort of scary? Yeah. Now imagine having walked down the street or whatnot and there's an army like nearby and then you go home and you, you open the door and you, you step inside and you close it. Hey! Hi. We're an army. Aren't you outside? Yeah, but now we're inside. You're, you're what? We get, to, we get to stay in your house now. It's called quartering. You get to sit. Yep. I'm just going to stand here in your house with my gun. And you're sure this doesn't trample on my rights? No, no, this is perfectly fine. So if I ever said something bad about uh, the king, what about the guy? I didn't end up nothing, nothing. What are you talking about? No, I, king's fine. I like the king. Seriously, man, you had to put the army inside of our houses? Like, without anyone's consent, you know. Like, everyone's mad about this, but we can't say anything because there's a guy with a gun standing there. Ugh. And then if the army, you know, does something bad, which they've done, you know, they've actually, um, <coughs> murdered people. <coughs> and, uh, we actually get them to a trial, you know? Okay. Make the guy, I don't know, get you murder, and then you go on trial, and then you, yeah, but guess who's in charge of the trial? The flipping judge that the flipping king appointed. You think that's fair? I don't think that's fair. Everything that, you know, you know what happens in these trials? Army always wins. King always wins. King has the trump card. You think we might be a little angry about this? Oh, yes, we are. And we'd like to, I don't know, maybe buy some stuff from some people across the way. No, you can't. Cutting off all trade that we got for everybody all across the world. We have random taxes we gotta pay. And we got no say in it. Because that's all what the king says. Right? We, uh, you know, someone gets in trouble, they're supposed to have a trial by jury. Think, no, no, trial, you get, a, you get a judge. You get a king judge. He talks to the king. Yeah, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. And then sometimes, you know, he'll just make something up. He'll just grab a guy, says, I don't like you, you are guilty of just blah blah blah, and then just throws you across the ocean and puts you on trial there, where you're even more under the jurisdiction of the king. <laughs> like he wasn't enough to use the corrupt court system on this side of the Atlantic. No! We had to ship you to the other side of the Atlantic just to be even more of a dick. Very fun indeed. And we've seen nearby um, bits of tyranny cropping up here and there by the king doing this tyranny thing. That makes us nervous, along with the army standing in the yard and the army standing in the house and the judges and all that stuff. For screwing around with, you know, we keep trying to establish good and proper laws here, and he just keeps getting rid of them. Getting rid of our legislatures. Getting rid of our freaking government. You know, and um, I probably should mention this thing where we're declaring independence is, is a little late, because we're actually already at war with the guy. Yeah. Yeah, we actually got so angry that, like, we just started fighting before we even wrote the declaration. Thing. So anyway, with the whole war bit, um, yeah, he's been burning our towns, killing our people. You should think, like, the screwy trials would be bad enough. No, how about the actual killing of people? Oh, yes. Very fun. Very fun indeed. And uh, he's even bringing in mercenaries. Like, yes. Not only do we have all the British army throwing at us, and we have mercenaries. And just, just to make it, like... As painful as possible. I don't know, as many people fighting us as possible. And then, like, there'll be some dude that's, like, our dude who likes us. He's off on the ocean somewhere. He gets captured. And they're like, okay, you're in the army now. You gotta go, you gotta go kill people that you like. And he can't really say no. Which is just dandy. It's just dandy. I mean, just, yeah. Nah. And then, you know, he's got... Uh, Indians, this slight note here, people, there seems to be a 
touch of racism in the declaration. The merciless Indian savages. Yeah, we're going to skip past the racism part now and move on to the next part. We did not bring this up recently. We've been talking about this, okay? For years. For years and years. We're like, hey, king, could you stop being a dick? And he's all like, no. And we've been talking to everyone we can think of. To all of our British brethren. No one seems to care except the people on this side of the ocean who actually have to deal with this crap. Very fun. Very fun indeed. So, we're saying to the king, you keep your government, we'll have ours. You stay over there, you do whatever it is you were doing with your British people things, because we're not British anymore. No. We're going to be the United States of America. And we're saying that, you know, since you've been such a jerk, that we ought to have our own nation. And that's what we're doing. That's right. We declare that we are our own thing, and you have no business anywhere, 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 anywhere within this whole big chunk of land, which is us, which is ours, which is governed by us, the people, who know what the frick we're doing, and we don't just, like, do all the random crap that you've been doing all this time, which has just been so fun. So, Mr. King, go away, and never come back. <laughs> the end. Slight note. This is not meant to bear any anger towards the modern-day Britain, which is a steadfast ally of the United States, which is nice. Apparently, we can resolve our differences and so forth. But, so yeah, that's the Declaration of Independence. Most of the detail in there is now, uh... I'll state it for you. It's, uh, you know... If you're gonna make a historical document, you you gotta use slightly flowery, slightly more, uh... eloquent language. Because... <laughs> If we had used the language I used just now, I'm not sure people would have rallied behind that very much. I don't know. I don't know if that would have been all that inspiring. But now you know what it says, basically, in the Declaration of Independence. So happy freedom to everyone who loves or wants freedom everywhere in the world. Thanks for watching. See you later.